who can only say, I love you. Roll the clip. One more time, talking dog. For a free rate quote, visit Geico.com to see how much you could save. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Welcome back here to the PM Show Weekend Edition on CRN Digital Talk Radio each and every week. The great American icon, Mr. Robert Conrad, is here with you taking your calls and your emails. Yes. And today we're honored to have the charming, the beautiful, the incredible, the intelligent and talented Stephanie Powers is with us here. And uh, boy, what a great career. She has done so many things. You mentioned from a bullfighter, and now she's going to be in uh, uh, going to England to be in uh, a production there of uh, On Golden Pond. Is that right? Yes. That's incredible. In my and life. Next year, we're going to probably. Uh, 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 last year, uh, uh, we did a production of Sunset Boulevard, the musical, uh, and uh, as a first revival in 10 years. And it was very successful. So. Uh, that a group of producers have, are putting together a tour for next year. About a year from now, we will open Sunset Boulevard on the road. Wow. Now, you were just before hey. the break, you were mentioning that the, what was, Bob asked you what was the most incredible thing you've done up to this point. And you said you started writing this book and you were getting reflective. And, and so what happened? Uh, well, I said that the motivation for the book which was two life-changing events. And we start. We sort of stopped when we talked about cancer. You're right. I was. Uh, I, I. I. I bring that up only because I think that uh, uh, if there's anything I can hope to impart uh, from this interview or any other, it's to encourage people to have CT scans uh, if they were smokers and even if they weren't smokers. My stepsister got the same thing I did, and, and never smoked a day in her life. Uh, it was uh, early detection, and only because of early detection that I was able to have the surgery uh, have them take out the the piece of my lung that was affected wow. and be able to call myself now a, a cancer survivor. Uh, lung cancer is the most common of all cancers, and uh, one of the second opinion doctor that I went to in, in New York City um, also, uh, it heads the task force studying the first responders to 9-11, and he told me that uh, they're redefining the, the, the rules when it comes to this, this sort of cancer that was always assumed to be just associated with people who smoked. Um, mine was called, it's called alveolar carcinoma, which means it's generally associated with something that you inhaled. And uh, in the case of the first responders in, uh, to that terrible tragedy, no one could predict the cocktail of carcinogens that they would be inhaling. And so the studies that are now going on with these wonderful people who first, you know, selflessly responded to the, uh, the emergency uh, are now suffering from all forms of uh, alveolar carcinoma that have never been seen before. So all I can say is I'm an example of some, to someone to whom, you know, I've gone on to do eight performances a week in musicals, um, uh, have an active life. I still play polo. I still uh, uh, run. Uh, I, don't, I run in the park. I, you know, there, Where do you run, darling? I run in Franklin Canyon. If you see a short, good-looking, gray-haired guy behind you, <laughs> uh, slow down. It'll be a friend of yours. Okay. All right. Now, let me, let me uh, ask you a question. And, uh, two things. The first thing is uh, I, I want to know, but I don't want you to answer this first. I want to know uh, the, your first role, how you broke in. And then the, the other question that I have is, is there anything that we can share with our audience that uh, – uh, either a book or um, a, a, a website or anything you want us to, to do, uh, your listeners, our audience? Well, great. Uh, um, the, first of all, the, the, uh, the subject that is most uh, dear to my heart, and um, I guess maybe it was my, um, uh, those years of, of, pl of playing around with bulls, uh, I've made up for it by spending the rest of my life as a dedicated uh, 
preservationist, uh, animal activist, and conservationist uh, in Africa and in Central America and in the western part of India. All all are locations where I um, head operations uh, under the uh, umbrella of the William Holden Wildlife Foundation. And uh, Bill, who was a conservationist uh, before the word conservation was even in popular use, um, you know, the word and the term uh, conservation and our ideas in gen- and the general public's consciousness about anything to do with the need for uh, environmental protection has really only uh, become an issue since the 1970s, the mid-1970s at that. So we're, we're, uh, we're awakening to something very late, and uh, uh, there's not enough in our daily lives that we can all as individuals do to uh, alter the way in which we use and abuse our, our, our lovely planet. Right. We're going into commercial now. I'll tell you what, uh, we don't keep anyone for one, one more, but I want you to hang in there and give us anything that you want to give us before we say goodbye. <laughs> 